If you'd like to see how I transform this plain blue Dollar Tree martini glass into this extravagant red rhinestone embellished martini glass, keep watching this video. In this video, I am going to be embellishing a martini glass. This is so cute. I like how it has a little swivel on the stem of it. I purchased this from Dollar Tree a while ago and forgot I even had it. I am going to be doing this in with red rhinestones. So I do have some of this apple barrel paint and it's just a matte acrylic quick drying little craft paint. I'm going to paint that on here so I can have a red base and then I'm going to add some red rhinestones. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm just going to squirt a little bit of paint onto this lid. I've already wiped the glass off and cleaned it off. And I'm just gonna put a, probably like one coat of paint on here. Now, I probably could have just went ahead and did the glass blue, but I just wasn't going to do a blue today. This project is going to be. Here is how the paint looks on the bottom of the glass. It is a matte paint, so it does have like a dry look to it, and that's that's fine. It's not perfect, and that's fine too. I just wanted to cover up the blue, and that's what I did. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and get started adding the Okay, so I have the glass all painted here. It's not perfect. It's a little dry looking because the paint is a matte color, which is fine. I just want to go ahead and cover up that blue like I said. As you can see, I am using my precision tip bottle. It is filled with liquid fusion glue. I'm just going to place a small amount on the glass and begin to add my stones. Just go ahead and keep watching. Just take your time and add your stones as closely and tightly as possible to avoid any gapping or spacing. The way the design of the stem is made, it is a little bit squiggly, but you just work your way along the stem. So you just go ahead and keep watching. I'm pretty much finished. I just have this little corner right here to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and just add some glue here. Okay, as you can see, I do have this little small area that I'm finishing up in this corner and I'm almost finished. I won't be adding any vinyl to this glass because I just think the way it sets low down towards the bottom part, you wouldn't be able to see it that well. So I'll just add some scatter to it. That's completely optional. You could just leave the glass as is. When I said I wouldn't be adding any vinyl, I meant a name on the glass. So I'm just zooming in right here so you can see exactly how I'm applying the stones. So just keep watching and make sure you keep everything nice and tight. So this is the end result of me adding rhinestones to the stem of this martini glass. It actually looked very, very pretty, like some beautiful rubies. It just looks so classy. And it's great for this time of year, as you know, Christmas is right around the corner. 
but you can stop right here if you want to it's completely optional but I will be adding just a couple rhinestones scattered throughout the glass because like I said I'm not going to add a name to it because the shape of the glass I feel like you wouldn't be able to see it that well so um, just go ahead and see how I do that okay so here I'm just taking my precision tip glue bottle and just adding some little teeny tiny dots randomly throughout the glass now I'm just picking a couple of them up just adding them to the glass in no type of order just spacing them out however again this is optional All right, you guys, here is the final look. I think it looks gorgeous, of course. Now, this would be great to make your martinis in, to drink some smoothies out of it, juice, water, pop, champagne, milk, chocolate milk, whatever you decide. It would also, of course, make a great gift for someone or something cute just to sit on your little bar if you have some type of um, case, glass casing where you put fancy glasses and dishware in. It would be cute for that, too. And I really like the little added sparkle splatter of rhinestones I added. A completely optional. I will have um, a link to where you can purchase these 4mm red rhinestones. Thanks again for watching. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. I hope you received some inspiration watching this video. This video is meant to show you how to do things that you can do yourself. It may look a little difficult at first. Once you have everything you need to get started with these projects, just take your time, visualize how you want it to look in your head, and then that'll be easier for the outcome to come out kind of close to how you want it or exactly or even better. So that's the whole point of these videos is to inspire you. So I hope I did go ahead and do that. Thank you again for watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to. I don't like to tell people to subscribe because it's like... You know if you want to subscribe or not. Check out some of my other videos if you don't subscribe. Thanks for stopping by anyway. Bye-bye.